Hello, in this video I would like to introduce you to Asana, a great project management tool, one of my favorites. And by the way, after you watch this video you can read the link below which compares Asana to Monday. But in this video I would like to let you know why Asana may become the project management tool of your choice in 2023. So let's go. This is my main dashboard and it shows projects I belong to and my priorities. So all project management starts with a team. You can invite different Asana members to your team and create different projects for this team. A project can be created from a blank new template or you can use the Asana library. By the way, all projects that you create are public to this team by default, but you can always go to the project settings and make it private to some of members, so the rest of Asana folks do not see your certain projects. Inside your project you have different tasks and you can see them in different views like list section, award section, and you have columns with cards of tasks and each task has its title, there is a description field below and you can add numerous custom fields to facilitate the process of management. Assign a due date, uh, put an assignee on your task and that's uh, important to know by the way that it can be only one assignee on a task in comparison to other project management tools so keep in mind that uh, if you'd like to formally assign somebody it could be only one person and beside these two dashboards there are a couple of other tabs you can see for a project like timeline for example where you can visualize the work of your team or see calendar and see uh, when it's time to work on your different assignments. But let's go back to the main task view. Um, so as I mentioned a task may have different custom fields and uh, they make your work much easier. One of the fields I find particularly useful is the field that allows you to track time. It's very important to understand how much time you spend on different tasks, especially if you sell this time to your customers. So if I go to the field section, I can add time as a custom field to this project. And uh, then I can open my task and start tracking time. I personally think it's not that intuitive and convenient to open task every time. Where I can start a timer and you can see that I need to log at least 30 seconds to reflect it on my task. Or I can enter hours manually to the task and save this entry which I also find a kind of inconvenient to do. Beside that if I sell my time and would like to make my project billable and set a budget on it to control how much time and money I spend. There is currently no way to do that with Asana so today I would like to recommend you a third party tool called EverHour which facilitates um, calculation of your time and money. So you can go to everhour.com and uh, install this tool then install their browser application which adds these timer buttons so you don't have to open a task to track your time just enough to click on a timer or if you open a task, you see the add time button right here where you can add time for different dates 
and then edit the time that was previously entered. By the way, if you use another uh, time tracking field called estimated time, you can connect it to Ever Hour as well. They explain it in their help documents. Um, so you will be able to use a SANA estimate as an estimate in Ever Hour reports and then see, for example, this is my um, this is my Ever Hour estimate. Um, if I enter an estimate for Asana, I will sync it uh, with my Asana reports and um, Ever Hour reports. And um, when you view the project on the main board, you can see these two labels, which allow you to set the billing and budget type. And then you can reset the budget and just keep tracking time based on um, user rates and uh, control this budget. By the way, on the left side you can see the timesheet button which shows different tasks where time was tracked so you can just keep tracking hours without opening a particular task. And beside these time tracking process Ever Hour has a very great reporting where you can build a report. Let me show how it looks inside where I can see my Asana projects and time spanned on different tasks within the period I selected here. On top of this I can assign different filters like filter by project and even filter by custom field that I have in Asana. I find these reports very useful because Asana also has its reporting but I didn't figure out how to create the same beautiful time reporting. They have something for time in custom field but you need to understand how to build this chart and with Ever Hour it's pretty simple. You just see columns and add them to your report. And a um, huge bonus of Asana, it's free for a team uh, up to 15 members. So you can always start using it with a small team and then see what features you need. I think that pricing is quite affordable, especially uh, if it's free for a team below 15 user mark. So I think you should definitely try Asana if you're looking for a tool of your project management in 2023. So if you like this video, please um, give it a like and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care. Bye.